While the Harpers discreetly undermine powers for the greater good, and the Zentarum have questionable practices to extend the reach of their agenda, there are those who want to see the natural state preserved. If you believe that there is a natural order of things, you are not alone. The Emerald Enclave has sought to keep the balance in Faerun for centuries, and it is always on the lookout for forces that would upset that balance. Founded on a small island at the Vilhon Reach in the Year of the Thoughtful Man, the branches of the Emerald Enclave have now reached across Toril. Through the hard work of its members, it is now counted as a major faction in Faerun. While the name Emerald Enclave inspires an imagination of hooded druids gathering around in circles, it's not like any other druidic circle. Druids make up most of its members, but the Enclave also includes wandering minstrels, huntsmen, and rangers in its fold. Even the savage barbarians if their goal is preserving nature. The goals of the Emerald Enclave have changed over the centuries, adapting towards the needs of the times, but remain faithful to its central tenets. The Enclave believe that there is a natural order to this world, and a balance between civilization and the wilderness. Anywhere where the balance is disrupted, the Enclave must intervene. The heart of the Emerald Enclave lies in the Vilhon Reach, and those who wish to join the Enclave must travel to the House of Sylvanus on the island of Illigone. On the full moon of each month, those who would join go through the rite of initiation. Once the rites are completed, the initiates join the first of seven circles of the Enclave, the Circle of Initiates and thus begin their journey as members of the Emerald Enclave. When a member has proven their loyalty to the cause of the Enclave, they join the second circle, the Circle of Earth. Above this is the Circle of Air, and to join, a druid must demonstrate their wild shape abilities, or a non-druid has to perform an outstanding service to the Enclave. Above this rank, the members choose one of three paths. The first, the Eldoth Circle, sail the waterways of Faerun, searching for knowledge and secrets beneath the waves that would benefit the Enclave. Second, the Circle of Alluvium, walk the lands of Faerun, observing for any unnatural forces that need to be put down, and ensuring there is peaceful existence between civilizations and the wilderness. Lastly, the Planar Circle pledged to watch for the most unnatural forces beyond the Material Plane. Many never return to the Material Plane, but send word through other means while they keep their vigilance. Above all of these, there exists the Elder Circle, which has only three members. They are not only the most sought-after personalities of the Enclave, admired for their wisdom and hunted by those who wish to destroy the Enclave, but they are also said to be blessed and protected by the gods Eldath, Myleki, and Sylvanus. It is said that they are immune to mind and divination magic, Tales also claim that they are impervious to any kinds of diseases, the effects of aging, and do not even need sleep. Within the Elder Circle, there are three ranks, where the topmost is called the Grand Cabal of the Enclave. The second role is referred to as the Hierophant of the Emerald Enclave, and is seen as the spiritual leader of the faction, and should defend the proactive actions. The third role is that of the Elder of the Enclave, the role of rational and conservative thought. The Emerald Enclave has no use for badges or insignias to identify each other, save for a piece of clothing in emerald green with an emblem of a stag's head. Some senior druid members are said to manifest the holy symbol of Sylvanus, shimmering in their eyes. Another way to identify a member is by their secret language, which is taught to only those who have passed the rite of initiation and can take years to master. 
When an unnatural threat has been found, the force of the Emerald Enclave is to be reckoned with. The servants of Maelar and Moander can testify to the dedication and ruthlessness of the small groups of winter stalkers that are sent to foil their plans. Betray the Enclave, and I fear they will treat you no better.